Once upon a time, in a land of innovation and enterprise, there lived a wise old sage named Alan. He was known far and wide for his insightful tales and his deep understanding of the world of business and beyond. In the heart of this land stood a grand library, a repository of knowledge where Alan often shared his wisdom. One day, a group of eager listeners gathered around him, their eyes filled with curiosity. As Alan began to weave a tale not just of commerce, but of life itself. All in this realm, Alan began, are part of a great tapestry, each thread representing a stakeholder in the grand design. Just as a tapestry cannot hold without every thread, a company thrives only with the investment in its people. He spoke of businesses where employees were owners, their loyalty and innovation driving growth and success. The listeners were captivated as Alan recounted the tale of a new space race, not of rivalry, but of shared dreams and technology. He chuckled as he told of his own youthful follies with patents, reminding all that true innovation cannot be shackled by trademarks. With a twinkle in his eye, Alan shared anecdotes of historical figures, weaving personal experiences with the threads of the past. He spoke of Earl Warren and other luminaries, their decisions rippling through time to touch the lives of many. As the sun dipped low, casting long shadows across the library, Alan's voice grew soft as he recounted the days of World War II. The listeners could almost see the young Alan navigating the challenges of life in Newport Beach. Amidst the turmoil of war and the pain of Japanese internment, the tale took a turn to the days of Prohibition, where Alan's father, the harbor master, danced a delicate waltz with rum runners who would later stand as heroes in the war. The listeners laughed and sighed, caught in the ebb and flow of Alan's memories. As twilight embraced the land, Alan spoke of the evolution of Newport Beach, from a quiet haven to a bustling hub of activity. He shared stories of local events, of scouting yamboris that left lasting imprints on the community. The story ended as Alan reflected on the power of storytelling itself, the impact of literature on life, and the importance of preserving these tales for generations to come. The listeners departed, their minds brimming with new insights, their hearts touched by the sage's words. And as the stars twinkled above, the grand tapestry of the land seemed a little brighter. Woven with the wisdom of Alan, the sage of innovation and life, 